let's start with uh, caching which is like the simplest so what it is is basically i can like show you in the console itself so everybody knows right that we have redis as a um, redis instance running that like is used for caching basically so redis is a program that is used for like cache memory so cache memory is basically it uh, is in the ram as compared to like calling the database which is in the rom so it's slower caches are very very fast especially redis and uh, trape basically depends on it for all the caching caching and queuing purposes so for example if some doc type is in use again and again it in, in, in doesn't change that often usually there is that is being cached and then it is served so what you can do is like uh, so there is a method called get cached doc mm, we had vehicle right or we can do so let's see what vehicles we have And then we can do get cash doc. So if it is not found in the cache, so get cash doc doc can be used if you know that okay vehicle doesn't that, uh, change that much, and uh, you want to like cache it for like further request or uh, till it changes. then you can use get cache doc it will return it from the cache it if, if it is already cached otherwise it will basically get it and then cache it so in the next call it will come from the cache instead of like a database call so that's how you can like get cached doc so use what already like frappe has a uh, frappe behind the scene will do the caching for you in the redis cache so you also have like the cache api available at your disposal so you can yourself cache some stuff and uh, so that's available at frappe.cache so it's as you can see it's a redis wrapper and it's connected to the redis instance running on your local host what you can do is frappe.cache so there is an api uh, which you can use so where do you find the documentation frappe framework docs and ankush recently like wrote this guide on caching so if you are using like v14 and previous you have to use frappe.cache like function call otherwise you can directly write frappe.cache right so how do caches work right so as you can see here is an example of again like a system settings system settings doesn't change often and like used or all over the place right so get cache doc uh so now what we will do is uh we'll see like the simplest of stuff so set value we can set some key value pair in the cache and then we can use that key to get that value at a later point in time and it will be much faster because it won't go to the database it will just return for the cache so what we can do is uh, for example we are tracking some users scores right uh, and we don't want to like query database or for example in our aeroplane database app the aeroplane mode app right we want to basically store the booked seats that are already booked right so whenever someone else comes or we can also store available seats after like calculation and whenever someone opens our site the calculation need not be done we can return it directly from the cache it will be way faster right so let's set a value uh, so i will call it what do you want to call it uh, uh, let's call it uh, available seats and we can pass in like 
normal values as well. So if you pass in strings, so for example, 3a, 4b, 3a. So assume this is a list of seats available. And once you set the value, it is set in cache. And then you, what you can do is like anywhere in your site's code, like the app's code, you can do get value. So this will be for this site, right? So this won't be available on the next site, which is on the same bench. So this is like the cache is not, uh, what do you say? Bench level. So this is not like common site config. So this available seats will be scoped to this site. Behind the scenes, the scoping will be done, even though the Redis instance is same, but scoping will be done. So let's get the available seats. Available seats. As you can see, it returned the string. So it is in the cache. So I'll show you uh, how to like check it, whether Frappe went and like stored this right in the cache. Uh, Redis CLI. So we are connected to the Redis CLI and you can run. So there is MariaDB CLI, right? So similarly, there is Redis CLI, which you can run. And if you're having problems uh, with like Redis installation or something, so until and unless this CLI works, Rappi won't work. So yeah, during installation, if you face any issues. So we are in the Redis CLI. So these commands are a little different. You need not learn them. I'm just showing it for like purposes where this thing went right. So I'll go to Redis docs. Uh, getting started with Redis. I don't want to do check uh, using Redis. Yep. This is what we are looking for. Client side caching. So there is cooks. Uh, I don't want Python. I want the API. Okay, commands. This is what I was looking for. So we have it's to get get returns the string value of a key. So let's first what we can do is because like Frappe does some magic behind the scene to make it like recognize that, okay, this come is for this site. So directly in Redis, you won't find this get available seats, right? Nil. It means no data. So that's why what we need to do is. Mm, there is a list command. This is get all. Let me just search for that command. Or it is keys. See. So again, this is for demonstration purposes. You do need not worry. So yeah, you can check the keys using the pattern. So what I will do is I'll do keys. Keys available seats. And then what we can do is we can check the example. So anything that contains this. Let's go here. Okay. There are no code keys here. Let's see if I'm connected to the correct Redis instance. And the port will be 13. Local host port 13,000. Right? Redis CLI. Okay, 13,000 like. Top result is ERP next. <laughs> oh. <laughs> cool. How do I open it? 
ओके डैश एच डैश पी डैश पी थर्टीन थाउजेंड ओके नाउ लेट्स डू दिस नाउ एज यू कैन सी वी फाउंड दैट दिस इज द की सो इट हैज अपेंडेड लाइक अ यूनिक आईडी फॉर दैट पर्टिकुलर साइट सो मोस्ट प्रोबेबली दिस इज द डेटाबेस नेम एंड लाइक इट अपेंडेड अवर की and now what we can do is we can get we can use this key and if we have done this correct what happened so as you can see we got like encoded string so frappe did encode it in some cases so it's better so directly now you see the value in having an api right so let's go back to console you don't have to interact with redis yourself so you just use redis cache now again i can do get value and it will return like in the proper for format let's see if we can do a list right because that would be more useful then you don't have to process the right and now i can do get value awesome so we can store python database uh, data types as well and it will properly give us back that so behind the scene it uses the pickle module to pickle python objects into binary data and vice versa so you can read more about this uh, in this caching guide so this was like the basics so get value set value you can update it later so when you do set value again for available seats it overrides so now you think like available three event out right so you can come here and update it and like now anyone who calls the get value for available seats okay the seat is out any doubts in caching so for the values you have set for example available seats rapi won't know how to process and refresh it right so you have to yourself like process it and uh keep it up to date so this kind of stuff can go in the controller code so when you book a new ticket update a new ticket right you can update the cache for that particular so you can append stuff here available seats so those who have done the assignments will get like better idea of where i am going so flight uh whatever flight code is and then you can store this and then it will be much faster cool because you know exactly when available seats will change right so that's like cool and when you are calling it it from the front end it will be like nice api everything works yep so yeah uh, if you have like time do try it out like implement it in your aeroplane mode app and have fun yeah so that was caching cash faster than database so yeah so you have one more method that i'm not going over that is h set and h get so what you can do is uh, h is like hash hashes are basically dictionaries let us call them hashes they are basically dictionaries so you, what you can do is you can have multiple what do you say key value pairs if you call them so frappe dot cache dot h set so you have a key that's the key like for example student right student is the key we are storing some value and then instead of providing a value you provide key values again so this is the key of the whole set so assume this is the name of the dictionary and then comes the key value so student name john again you can store more values so suppose later point you came to know okay h 20 right key is same like the redis key but now you can store key value pairs and how do you get so if i want to get the h of the student i can do h get right and if i want to get all the 
key value pairs of the student, what I can do is edge get all and it will return. Works. Now that you can get uh, uh, name. Okay, this won't work because it's binary and should work. Let's check what the type it returns. We can do type. Predict, in fact. But why doesn't it let me? Let's see if we have something. Because here it doesn't do B. So we have a B here. Hmm. This doesn't work right. So how do we do B? Okay, so you append a B in it. Yeah, this might be some inconsist inconsistency somewhere, but you get the idea. So this was H get hash. So you can store like multiple stuff and then you can get all the values using one key. Cool. This is covered. Now you can like read about your own caching. So there is also a delete value. So if you want to delete, some cache you can so delete value get value set value delete value we also have a decorator so so suppose you have a function right and you want to cache its value so whenever from the front end it is called you know that okay two plus two answer won't change so you can cache it and whenever call, someone calls that function with two and two arguments so add two comma two the first time it will be called four will be calculated and it will be stored in the cache, right? And then the next time it is called with the same arguments, then it will return four automatically without like even performing or calling the function. So you can read more here. It will be just as easy as doing at Redis cache decorator. Cool. This was like all of it. Uh, read more, explore more.